guys. Uh, hopefully you can hear me. Jake is cooking in the background, so there's some sizzling happening. Um, this is finally my June wrap up. So <laughs> I don't think this is too too much of a gap from my June, January, February, March, <laughs> from my May one. So hopefully I'm getting better and we'll catch up eventually. Um, I am going to first do my giveaway winners. Uh, so I'm going to do uh, Queenie first. Uh, not that many. Y'all are not interested in the books I'm not interested in, which it kind of makes me sad because, like, I'm just trying to give it away. Like, it's either you guys get it or I sell it at Powell's whenever they let me sell books back again. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want it. So just take it. But anyways... So I've got two two people here. Let's see. All right. Uh, this is so embarrassing. I cannot pronounce your name. It looks like it might be Portuguese. Um, yes, this this person. You have won the book Queenie. I'm sorry. I'm too afraid to try to pronounce your first name. I'm sorry, but you won. Congratulations. You get my copy of Queenie. Um, again, it is my copy of Queenie that I will mail to you. Um, and then or maybe I'll just bring this closer. So hopefully you can hear me better. Um, and then guess what? Kathleen Ann, you get a woman is no man since no one asked for that besides you. I mean, like, you know, you're like interested in all the books kind of. So congratulations. Um, I'm actually really pleased that you're getting it since you like you know, know me. <laughs> I, I think that we're like Fran Franz. Because <laughs> um, then you can laugh at all of my anger in the margins. I don't think you're going to like the book, but still read it, please. All right. So the one that people actually entered to win um, my time among the whites, which is perfect because it is um, Hispanic Heritage Month right now or Latinx Heritage Month. Um, I don't think that I'm cool enough to say Latinx. So I'm just going to keep saying Hispanic. And I'm sorry, I don't think that the word Hispanic is offensive, but if it is, let me know. Um, so perfect, because this is, you know, from a Hispanic author. She is from Cuba, or at least her parents, I forget now if she was born in the U.S. or not, but either way, she's Cuban, um, Cuban-American. Um, all right. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous and excited. Ah. All right. Oh, my gosh. Two months in a row. Um, Daniela, you won. Yay. I still haven't mailed you the book that you won last time, the Oliver Sacks. But anyways, you won My Time Among the Lights. So um, I have your address already, so I will buy you a new copy. Um, I'll maybe send you a little message to ask if there's a specific bookstore that you'd like me to buy that from. But yay, you won. Oh, my gosh. So exciting. Okay, so I need to make sure I... Write that down somewhere and I don't lose it. Um, all right, so let's talk about what happened in the month of June. I did not read Jack in the month of June. Um, so I finished two books. Um, that's all I read in June. I mean, I'm not surprised. When I show you guys my little bar graph of the reading, you're going to laugh because it is really bad. Um, so the first book that I finished is, and I've already talked about both of these books. <laughs> so um, the first one, I'm just going to um, so this is the first book that I finished in the month of June, and it is, uh, her memoir, her time being in a relationship with another female, and it was an abusive relationship, and it just kind of, like, shows you how she ended up where she ended up, and it's not as easy as leave the abuser, because, you know, you, you get there in a certain way, and I think that she really showed that very well. Again, I talk much more in depth about it, um, in my book, Two Prize, um, wrap up. So I will link that video below if you are curious. I feel like most people have talked about this book though, so you should know about it. Um, and then the other book that I read is Heed the Hollow by Malcolm Tarek. And this is um, a poetry collection. And I read this uh, for our indie press project. It's a gray wolf book. Um, and yeah, this was bam. Fantastic. Um, it was so good. Um, I don't really remember specific things because it is a poetry collection. And you know, they don't like stay like there's no plot to remember basically and if you can tell when I describe books I don't remember like phrases I just remember themes and how I felt when I read the book so anyways I would 100% recommend this I think this is fantastic um oh and it, I might have shown it I forget but 
there's a little, he wrote me a little note. It's so sweet. Um, I got this at, um, at the Portland Book Festival word, word stock last, last year, 2019. Yeah. So, um, I'm sure there's not going to be one this year. So whatever. Um, but yeah, I would recommend this. And again, I will link below my video. What's the matter, baby? Do you think they've gone off? Okay. Um, I lost what I was saying. Biscuits. This is very good. I will link my video below. Please go watch it. So that's all I read. So um, I am going to do a giveaway. I'm only giving away one book, but I'll let you pick which one you like. Um, I personally preferred this because it's more my style, but they're both really, really fantastic. And so, you know, only giving away one book, one winner, but you can pick which one it is. So if there is a book of these two that you prefer... Write it in the comments below, and then I will pick a winner in my July wrap-up for that one. Um, so now let's do my book haul. I bought so many books in the month of June. It's almost embarrassing, but I was, you know, just in the mood to buy books. So um, I'll do first the two books that Jake actually purchased that I did not buy. Um, so our landlord is Nigerian, and I think... When we first moved in, Jake was, like, talking to him about um, Chinua Achebe and, like, Things Fall Apart and how great that book is because it is so good. And so he recommended – I mean, it's the second book in the series, but basically Jake bought this book because our landlord really, really likes it. And so that it is why – that that it is why – this book is in our house now, but now it's embarrassing because we have the book and neither of us have read it yet. I think Jake should be the one to read it since technically the landlord recommended it to him. But, you know, whatever. Um, and then he also bought, and I think he bought both of these at Powell's, um, this ridiculously long title, Noisy Outlaws, Unfriendly Blobs, and Some Other Things That Aren't As Scary, Maybe, Depending on How You Feel About Lost Land, Stray Cell Phones, Creatures from the Sky, Parents Who Disappear in Peru, a man named Lars Farf, and one other story we couldn't quite finish, so maybe you could help us out. So it's just like a short story collection. I think McSweeney's put this out. Um, but who knows? It's one of those, you know, anthology. Yeah, so it's a McSweeney's book. It's not It's not one of their, like, journals, but it's they're the ones that put this out. Um, and there's Jonathan Safran Foer in here, Neil Gaiman, Nick Hornby, lots of dudes. I wonder if there's any women. I'll find out later. <laughs> All right. Um, and then I got a couple of things in um, the mail. I got my Paris Review, uh, issue 233, which I have not read. And then I had my um, Indispensable box come in, and so it was The Unseen by Roy Jacobson. I love this book. I hate hardcovers. <laughs> um, I hate hardcover books, except I do love, I love a beautiful naked hardcover. And this, ooh, this looks, what publisher is this? Oh. Biblioasis. Oh my gosh, maybe I'll have to add this to our list of indie presses. Um, so this looks like, I mean, it says Ontario, so I think that this might be a Canadian indie press. If you are Canadian and know anything, please let me know. Um, but it is beautiful. And then in the same box, I also got this book, um, Aubrey McKee by Alex Pugsley, also by the same press. This is their little like logo on the side. Um, and yeah, I know absolute jack about both of those books. Um, and then I also started, I think the same month, a, um, a new book subscription. Mom, just don't watch the video, okay? <laughs> you don't need to know. I'm an adult. I can spend my money how I want. Um, so anyways, this is uh, the Literar Lit Literati Bookstore in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And so this is the first um, book. Eh, I don't know. Um, probably. Maybe. Is it translated? It looks like it could, could be translated. Nope, it's not. It's not translated at all. Uh, I don't know why. Well, because his last name is... Krivak. It just sounds like it might be like Polish or something. I was being hopeful. Um, yeah, I don't know. This looks kind of romantical, but who knows? It's not super long, so that shouldn't be too bad. And they um, send a little note about why they picked the book. So this is 
March 2020. Who knows? Maybe, I don't know, whatever, who cares? Um, so yeah, I'm probably not going to read this until after I read the book, just in case it like makes me think a certain thing about the book. And then I, you know, I don't want to sway my opinions before I read it. Um, and then I purchased two books because of podcasts. So I'm trying to, you know, do the podcast book thing. Um, so this first one, this, this first book is Exit West. So not exactly like you know, whatever, because everyone has read this. But anyway, so Exit West by um, Mo Mohsin Hamid. Um, and this is for the Stacks podcast. Uh, so this is only the second episode. Did I even, what was the first episode? Was it just them? Oh, it was just them talking about books. So uh, yeah, I'm finally going to read Exit West like three or five years too late. Um, and then the other podcast is... Um, Boop, boop, boop. Mm. Black Chicklet. So um, I did read the first one, or no, the first two episodes. So the first one was Queen Sugar. I DNF'd that, did not like it. Um, but then Another Brooklyn was their second one. So I was like, oh, okay. So I, I'm okay with this. Plus, they also didn't like Qu Queen Sugar. So it's kind of fun to like, you know, listen. Anyways, the book is We Love You, Charlie Freeman by Caitlin Greenidge. I'm also really, oh, I guess. It's called Black Chicklet, so maybe they will all be female authors, um, but I'm, I'm digging it because I feel like most of the black authors that I've read have been male in general. So anyways, I uh, but I bought this in June, and it's September, and I haven't read it yet. So um, and then I got a couple of um, these little babies. So Martin Luther King Jr., Letter from Birmingham Jail, um, and Alex Ginsberg Television was a baby crawling toward that death chamber, and these are numbers one and two of this series. Um, and then I got books for, um, I think both, I think all of these I got for the 1001 books three before you die. Um, Yukio Mishima, Mishima, um, the sound of waves translated by, um, Meredith Weatherby. Ooh, and there's illustrations in here. That's very exciting. And then all souls by, um, Javier Marias. And this one is translated by Margaret Jewel Costa. And oh, this is a floppy, floppy baby. Oh boy, I'm excited about that. This one, I'm really disappointed in this cover and this book. I don't know why I got this edition. There's a better edition on the internet, but I'm not about to buy the book again, not knowing if I like it or not. Maybe if I like love it. But anyway, so this is Death in Venice by Thomas Mann. I probably will like it. I feel like for some reason I think I'm going to like Thomas Mann. Um, and this is uh, translated by David L Luke. So those are all of the books uh, that I got. So yeah, let's talk numbers, people. <laughs> especially because both those books were super small so in the month of June I read two books which was only 350 pages in the month of June um I did read more pages than that obviously I just I was reading the luminaries a bit during that time too but that's what I finished was 350 pages I purchased 20 because oh I forgot to mention I don't show all the books that I buy in these haul sections I just show the books that I buy that I haven't read yet so if I've read a book, I'm not going to show it to you because I already talked about it. So I don't understand. I don't do that. Um, and I added 4,819 pages with my purchases, which means that I added 18 books to my shelves and 4,469 pages. So my, I got my little line of, you know, the, the start of when I really have gone off the rails and I've continued to go off the rails. Here's, you know, another month that's, that was last month, I think. I don't know. I haven't finished a book in so long. I don't even remember. <laughs> um, and let me show you. I'm really, really, I love my June, um, my little, like, front, my front page of June. Look how cute. <gasps> Isn't it so lovely? So I think I cut this out of a New Yorker, and then my friend got me a big sticker pack of kittens, and then that's also stickers, and those are stickers. And then there's a fun little background. I love it so much because that's how I feel with all those books. Um, and then my TBR, you can see that I uh, read oh, basically nothing and I mostly did my reading at the end. I also love the way this looks. I'm really disappointed because I put a stamp on the other side and it bled through 
because it's to me like these colors and the stars I just love it so much and then here is um, my graph of my pages that I read so I literally I I read less than 10 pages on the 8th and less than 50 on the 15th like I like I just could not read I was so so distraught it was horrible the beginning of June was the fucking worst <gasps> I just said the f word oh my <laughs> I know. Um, ooh. Okay. So anyways, and then I didn't even like use my bullet journal, to be honest with you. Um, I cut out and I put in this, um, this, which is really funny. It's from the Harper's. I need to be reading my Harper's magazine because they are really, really good at things. So this says offenses, red tape from explanations given by the Chinese government for why certain artists and celebrities are banned from entering or performing in the country. Behaving badly in social life, associating with counterculture, using profanity in lyrics, wearing a sunflower dress on stage in Taiwan. Uh, there's a bunch of them, and it's just, I mean, it's it's not funny because it's real, but it's, like, funny because it's so ridiculous. You know what I'm saying, right? Like, a, you gotta look at the, the humor in it, kind of, and then I've got my cute little cats, and I've got this cute elephant and then a little note to myself about how I failed but it's okay because there's an elephant in here and then my little um oh gosh black lives matter fist okay I just really dropped a lot of stuff on the ground so those are all of the bookish things I'll tell you guys about the movies that I read now again I can't tell how long this is because I started over a little bit but I don't think it's too long just stop watching if you don't want to watch, okay? Just don't thumbs down it without telling me why. I don't know why people do that. I'm sorry. I'm being really weird again. I'm watching too much Love Island and it's messing up my brain. Okay. So movies in the month of June. What did we watch? Okay. So I did my little um, movie thing with, um, you know, my, my friends, my internet friends that I met through BookTube. Um, so we did like a, I don't know, I, the theme must have been like 90s or like throwback or something. So we watched The Craft, Ghost World, Scream, Legally Blonde, and Speed. All of this, every single movie that I watched in the month of June actually was a rewatch. Um, if you haven't heard of The Craft, where have you been? Amazing. Ghost World, amazing. Scream, amazing. Legally Blonde, amazing. And Speed, amazing. All of those movies are just so good and I don't even feel the need to talk to you about them because honestly if you haven't seen any of them just like go watch but they're so good <laughs> they're incredible um I am disappointed because I was planning on doing a rewatch of all of the Scream sequels too because I own all of them because it's my favorite series sounds like Jake left something cooking and then went outside <sighs> oh well now I'm gonna go check on that all right, so everything's fine. Jake is not burning the house down, in case you guys were wondering. Um, so Jake and I rewatched the Veronica Mars podcast. No, that's not right the way I said that. Jake and I rewatched Veronica Mars because I'm listening to a Veronica Mars podcast. Um, we ended up like blowing way past the podcast and just rewatching the whole thing, but that's fine because I can just rewatch it again and then catch up to the podcast again because I love Veronica Mars so much. Um, so anyways, we watched on the 22nd the Veronica Mars movie, which came out in 2014. Um, this was okay. I gave this three and a half stars. It's like not my favorite. Basically, the original three series are the best. Um, the movie's okay, and the last, the newest season, season four, is good. Um, but the point is, is that the movie is not as good as the TV show, but it's fine. I think it's because it's like, you know such a big thing that they're trying this like big plot that they're trying to figure out like you know who killed this girl and um I don't know it was just fine I just like I like a, a I like a long drawn out series basically when it comes to that kind of stuff and not necessarily a movie uh then Jake and I watched I know what you did last summer and I still know what you did last summer um <laughs> They're not good movies. Um, I gave I Know What You Did Last Summer two and a half stars, and I still know what you did last summer three stars for some reason. I don't really know what my choice or, like, why I did that. I feel like both of them are solid three. 
Uh, the problem is that the main girl, Jennifer Love Hewitt, she's not a good actress, and so it's upsetting because she's in both of them. So Sarah Michelle Gellar is the friend in the first movie, and Brandy is the friend in the second movie, and both of them are much better actresses. No offense, Jennifer Love Hewitt. You're really great in, like, Heartbreakers and stuff. It's just like this, you know, like, come and get me! Oh, come and get me! a little overdone I think and also Freddie is not very good either disappointing um so anyways yeah they're they're both not good but I feel like really important mo um you know they were uh one of you know I watched a lot of this kind of crap when I was growing up unfortunately and fortunately I love it why am I still talking okay um, and then I watched The Cabin in the Woods. That was the last uh, movie of June, which was also a rewatch. And that one is so... Man, I need to watch more scary. I watched, uh, you know, a good amount of scary movies, at least towards the end there. Uh, this one is so good. I don't want to say anything about it. I'll link a trailer below, but I feel like the movie is so special and just wonderful. And if I tell you anything about it, I'm worried it's going to spoil it. But I mean, like the main plot is like a group of young folk in college go off to a cabin in the woods and it's a horror movie, kind of. <laughs> so that's all I'll say. Um, but yeah, that's it. Uh, so, you know, I will uh, wait for this person to tell me, will you um, send me your information in Instagram, di direct message. My links are below. Um, you can d d slide into my DMs with your address um, so you can get your book. And then I do have the address for the other the other two people. So, you know, <laughs> if you keep entering, then I just have your information. Is that weird? I mean, whatever. What am I going to, you know, I'm just sending you stuff. You guys, I'm spiraling. <gasps> I'm going to hang up right now. Um, I'll talk to you guys next time. Yes.